hello coders welcome back to tutor and so guys in this video we are going to see how we can use material ui in our react application and how we can use material ui to style our project and guys if you have been using any other front end library like like bootstrap then you must know that you can use ready-made components inside your application with the default stylings or you can custom style any component and use it in your project and you don't have to write 100% of the CSS to style your application and this is one of the best features or advantage of the front-end libraries like material UI and bootstrap and I already showed you how to use bootstrap in react application and this time we are going to see how you can use material UI in your react application so as to use material UI in your react application you have to come to this website that is miui.com and here you can see what are the features of the material ui and how you can use material ui so in order to install material ui you have to run this command which you can copy from here and before doing that i'm going to show you something what are the components material ui provides us so if you click on this component section then you can see these are the components which you can use in your react application so for example this is the autocomplete component which is used to implement the live search or real-time search result for example there are multiple options already provided in this and if you search anything it, it is going to sort the searching list according to your search query for example i am going to search 12 then it is going to show the result which is related to 12 and we can implement it very easily with the help of this autocomplete component of the material UI in our react application and after that you can see here there are the buttons and there are many categories of the buttons and after that you can see here the button groups which is nothing but the collection of buttons like pagination and breadcrumbs and after that you can see here checkboxes and there are multiple variant of these two and similarly there are multiple components which you can use inside your application like you have everything here which you need to implement in your website for example if you want to implement navbar like this inside your application then you can search by pressing ctrl plus k and f bar and you can see these types of navbars which you can copy and paste inside your application and these are the code which you want to copy if you want to implement nav bar or top bar inside your react application with material ui and you also have to import all of these components from the material ui inside your application to implement nav bar or top bar so guys let's now see how you can use material ui inside your application or react application and for that i'm going to go to the beginning again and from here you can see and from here you can see these are the installation command which you can copy from here and for this tutorial i'm going to create a new react application by opening a terminal and running npx create react app and let's name it material react and it is going to create a new react application with that name and it may take some time so be patient and wait for some time and guys after some time the react application will be created and you'll see a screen something like this and this means that react application has been successfully completed and now you can navigate to the project by typing cd and the project name that is material react and now you can open this project inside our vs code you can choose any editor of your choice and guys after opening the project inside our vs code you'll see something like this if you are creating a new react application and this is the default page of the react application and to run our react application we have to run 
we have to open a terminal and we have to run this command that is npm start or npm run start and this is going to run our project inside our browser and as you can see our development server has been already started and and you'll see a default page like this which is the default template page of the react application and we are going to put it side by side with our vs code and now we are going to remove the default code from this app.js so that we can write our own and if you press control s after changing something here you will see the live changes here so for now I am going to write a uh, heading here material UI in react tutorial and you will see the result here so now we are going to the next step and that is to install material UI inside our react application and which you can do by this command which is npm install material UI from the MIUI and basically we have to install these three libraries to use our to use material UI inside our application so let's run this and we are going to run this inside a new terminal and after some time these three dependencies or packages will be installed inside our application and as you can see it is installed and so now we can use this package or material UI inside our application so let's see how we can use this on the official website that is miui.com and after installing the material UI you can go to this user section but before that if you read here then you can see here material UI by default uses roboto font to style any component and if you also want to follow that styling then you can then you can import this font inside your application by copying this link from here and pasting inside your and pasting it inside your index.html inside your public folder of your react application that is here but for now we are going to ignore this and we are going to uses and inside this uses page you can clearly see that we have to import any component which you want to use and we can use that directly inside our application so for now let's just do that and copy this code from here or directly import the button component inside our vs code or inside your application by writing import button from MUI and slash material and after that you can use this button component inside our application so let's see that and we are going to write button so you are not seeing this button because we have to give some props inside this button component and that are the variant of the button variant is equal to uh, content and guys this error is coming because we have to write button here too so now it is going to work as expected so you can see here the content variant of the button is now implemented inside our application 
and similarly you can use any component of the material ui inside our application for example if you want to use this autocomplete and which is to give the functionality of the live search inside our application so so let's just copy this code from here autocomplete and paste it here and we also have to import this component to use so we have to import this autocomplete and this text field from the material UI so now you can see we have implemented this text field and autocomplete so it should be working now and this is giving us some error because we haven't given the options that is the search result which is going to be shown inside the live search and for that on the official website they are using uh they are using an array of object and we are also going to copy the same and we are going to paste it and we are going to paste it above the return code And now it should be working so now if you want to search like godfather then it is going to source the search result which is related to god but guys for now we are using this area of object but you can fetch this option data from any api or server or you can implement your own area of objects and it is going to work fine so for example, I'm going to add my own object inside this. So for example, let's add the tutor end. And now we're going to search. Then it is going to show the tutor end at the top. But if you are going to add this at the bottom of this area, and if you are going to search two then it is going to show both of this result which is related to tu t o r e n d so now we can use any component inside our application and you can style your application as you like with the material ui and that's it for this video i hope you like this video so Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you next video. Till then, stay healthy, keep coding, and keep watching Tutor End.